hi everyone welcome back to engineer stick up channel so in this video we will discuss mind tree interview question and answer for automation test engineer two to five years of experience so first question is always tell me about yourself so if you are uh, new in this uh, you know in my channel and if you watch already my previous video or if you are new then you can just go through this uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, tell me about yourself question or if you are already uh, watched the previous video, you can uh, skip this question because in the previous video I have already discussed. So in the tell me about yourself, what you have to uh, speak, you have to uh, speak your name, your current organization, your relevant experience, your uh, skill set is very important, your current project and your roles and responsibility. So these are the things you have to brief, you have to not tell in the depth. If they will ask you the cross question and definitely you have to explain the in the depth. Like I can give the example of uh, you have to tell uh, in your tell me about yourself. Hey, uh, this is Mohit. I'm working on the XYZ company. I having the total uh, eight year of experience in IT industry about my relevant experience. Like I have worked in uh, mostly in automation and some of the project is related to manual with automation. So I have to handle the both things. And about my uh, skill set, so I am very passionate about of Java and uh, Selenium. And I also uh, worked with API testing and rest assured and Postman, Git, Jenkins, right? So you have to highlight your uh, skill here about your project, what you have to uh, speak about your project. So I have worked on a uh, different domain in the previous company, but in my current project is like I'm working on the healthcare domain. I have worked in the different module and uh, in my sprint, I have both work manual and automation. So I have to maintain our regression suit or if I'm getting the any defect, then we have to test and we have to uh, create a test cases and we have to, you know, uh, manual test cases and the same test cases. If we have a time in the same sprint, we can automate parallelly as well. If we do not uh, get the time to, uh, if you having the, you know, like, uh, more test cases and also we can pass we can plan for the next sprint and so uh, in the roles and responsibility also the same thing you have to speak like uh, what is your roles and responsibility so i am i am handling both manual and automation task so i have a multiple uh, you know work here so we are doing the you know some cr like we having the request change then we are doing the defect retesting. Then we are involved completely in the automation if we don't have any manual task. So we have a framework and we have a multiple suit in my framework. So we have a signity, we have a, uh, you know, uh, be having the, you know, regression and be having the functional. So as per the sprint planning, we are doing the, the work, right? So whatever the, you know, we are getting the user story then we have to start to work on that so like that you have to speak okay in the tell me about yourself so next question is your uh, explain the map and explain your each type of in the details so map is a separate collection so map will not come in your uh, collection hierarchy so map is a not a child interface of collection. If you want to represent a group of object in key value pair, then we should go for map. Both key and value are object only. You can see I have uh, made one diagram. So here, if you want to uh, store the group of you know key value pair. So this is you know key and set. If you will combine the key and value, this is the key and value. Key will be perhaps like the set and value will be perhaps like the list. If you will make this key value pair is called entry. Okay. So here you can see I have written both key and value are object only and duplicates keys are not allowed. So, you know, set behavior, we cannot store duplicates object in the set, but value can be duplicated. So value, you can store the duplicate each key value pair is called entry. So one key value is pair is called entry and entry is your sub interface of map. So hence map is considered as a collection of entry objects. So these are the important 
things are there in the map you can see we have a hash map is your implementation class link has map and big has a dictionary and hash table and properties hey guys so one more announcement like uh, if you want to learn java in the depth so i have designed a very you know uh, uh, this course like core java beginner to master in the udemy you can go, see if you don't know about of udemy udemy is a online uh, here you will get be having the online platform to self learning if you want to learn so you can just go and you can register and you can search core java beginner to master so i have designed this course many people are already done the courses and most of the people are lacking for the java skill set so that's why i have designed this uh, course from the uh, scratch so right see if you are getting any uh, you know questions from in interview so in this course i have designed i have given the very good content and i have started from the scratch level so then uh, i have here what i have done i have you know highlighted the important uh, you know concept of the java within the 10 hours and we having the 104 lectures and 20 sections okay so this course will help you from the scratch level if you never did the coding or if you are like fear you know fear of the java you learn some where i know but definitely you are not able to understand the java concept why because the java is many tutor i have seen but here i have designed this course from the systematic way so you should not worry about of that but do not uh, skip any section so if you want to learn the java in the depth you can see uh, if you will go in the collection so we having the two more than 2 hours i have worked on the collection so here you will get the important collections a concept and not only you can crack the interview you can able to write the code also in front of the interviewer so if you are planning to learn the java please go and enroll my course and see here in the udemy we having the one more thing 30 days money back guarantee if you are not satisfied this course within 30 days your money will be back okay if you are not interested or if you are not satisfied this course your money will be refunded okay so please go through at least you can try you know this courses and definitely you can see i have uh, spended more time on the up concept as well got it right so if you want to explore your java skill please go through that you will get this link in the description of this video or if you are looking for see be uh, be having the some coupon as well so if you are looking for enroll you will get more more discounts here you can reach out to me i will give you some coupon as well you will get the more discount as well okay so let's move in our another question so this is your map you know so these are the map hierarchy and whatever the important things are there another question is what the challenges you are are you facing in your uh, current project so basically this challenges i have made for the automation project not only for manual okay so i have highlighted the automation things here okay so the first challenge see, this is my experience i am going to share my real time experience what i faced in this you know current when i am working in the automation so same thing i am going to discuss here so first i i have faced many challenges in my uh, project like i have worked before in a different domain like you have worked in your banking domain but the company will hire you for your healthcare domain so here you have to explore your domain knowledge be having the very less time within the very less time i have explored the uh, you know domain uh, healthcare domain knowledge and i have started to work in the very short period of time this is the first challenge i have faced when i joined in the company creating the test data and maintaining the test data that is the also the very important thing here the creating the fresh data is the one challenge for us and we have to maintain that data right if someone is deleted from your database your script will be you know break so these things you know we having the one challenge creating a reusable method as per the new requirement sometime what will happen frameworks are already there but some of the test cases having the new requirement and that requirement you have to make the reusable method reusable method but in this framework you don't have then you have to create your reusable method you have to create your own method right this is the another challenge you have to 
phase maintain the framework so maintenance of the frameworks are also very important a script execution a script development is the one part and a script execution while doing the execution many failures will come many exception will come then we have to handle like the synchronization issue so you have to give the you have to use your wait statement to handle the synchronization issue and handling the dynamic element like element is going to changes every time then you have to write the customized x path for that then cross browser testing one test cases if you want to execute in the multiple browsers so that is your cross browser testing support only web application so when you are using the selenium then what will happen your test cases having the some integration with the different two different uh, you know uh, like different uh, step like if we having the desktop application or be having the api and all right so again you know it it's having the integration type of the test cases right so you have to think what tools we have to integrate so here integration of the selenium is one challenge with the another tools sometimes you are facing the different different types of the pop up then you have to analyze and then you have to write the code so here handling the pop up is the another challenge as well so this is the another question what is uh, where you will store your test data so again it depend upon your framework guys and again company how they have designed the frameworks but i have written some common stuff here we can maintain the data by using the excel sheet so excel sheet we can maintain the data we can maintain by using the properties file we can maintain the in xml file even the people are going to maintain from database as well they are storing the data into database and they are reading from the database or excel sheet or properties file so these are the way to maintain the data where you are going to maintain the data in your framework it totally depend upon your company requirement and how they have designed this your framework explain your roles and responsibility in your project so see i have given some link here so i have already made this all this you can just go in the youtube channel my youtube channel name is engineer tech hub so i will explain also but i'm just going to tell you because i have already made this all this you know question common question and answers you can just go in this playlist and we have a real time interview question and answer so this real time interview question and answer you can see what is your roles and responsibility what is your day to day activity what the challenges you have faced in your project so i have already agile you can follow this playlist and just i have also give you the link on this description so directly you will get that video so here explain your roles and responsibility in your project so i have already given some overview right in the introduction what is my roles and responsibility and for the depth you can just refer my video because unnecessary this video will increase right timing will increase so please go through and please refer this video explain your effective agile methodology in your project right so this one also i already you will get this video and i explain very well you know how we are working you know agile you can see i completely made the diagram of the agile how we are working in the company by using the agile so what is the agile methodology so you can just refer this video but i will give you agile is a methodology and be having the agile many things are there but i will tell you the day to day agile activity again it depend upon your project because sometime the companies are using the different stuff and all but process are same might be you are involved in the uh, you know sometime the uh, if you are planning the the managers are planning the you know sprint and all right so you are involved sometime we are not involved so we are involved only for a status and all we have to take care of our user story and all so basically how this agile is working so we have a two big sprint a sprint makes your work duration or some of the company having the three week sprint time so they have assigned the task for the two week and three week so you will get some user story like i can give you one example of user story so user story means uh, be having the some enhancement so we have some enhancement in your application like uh, some uh, some new uh, functionality they have added right so uh, according to the document you have to design your test cases then you have to estimate your time you know how much time you are going to take for estimation how much time you are going to take for analyzing how much time you are uh, going to take for your 
you know execution because we have a limited time right we have a uh, two week time right so within the two week you have to do you have to finish your task so each work we can you know estimate and we can log in our jira or rally any anything so this is the one things you have to do then day to day activity what you have to do uh, we having the daily stand up call so sometime we having the only one stand up call but two stand up call so in my project we having the two stand up call one call with our team only and one call for the on site team where the all the people from on site on site and managers are also there to take the status so these are the agile but in the depth you can just refer my video and at the end of the day how will you send your report to your manager so that is one more important things so again you know when the framework the people are using the multiple types of the report but here we use the extend report and when you will do the configuration with ci cd then automatically report will be generated and it will go for the email every email whatever the email you have done the configuration just i can give you one real time scenario we having the fresh build okay then deployment happen so we have done one configuration once deployment will happen we have a schedule that one deployment will happen our sanity will run when sanity will run then it will generate the report and it will automatically send to the all the people who is there in your loop you know loop of this email or loop of this team you know so like that or you can manually you can just you know when you are executing your uh, framework in your system then automatically you know we will get one folder in your system itself so some of the you know we having the some you know uh, common place where you can keep uh, having the everyone having the access for your teammate you can just copy paste over there but that is the best things when you will do the configuration once it will run then you will get the report automatically so that's all in this video guys so whatever the important questions are there i have covered that and again you know so here this is my engineer tech up channel so here you will get many things here and if you want to learn java so i have shown you this you know uh, uh, udemy course and we having the very less price for the udemy and we, we have also some coupons if you are planning to learn java in the depth or you are planning to prepare for the interview as well and i have created top level of the interview question and answer so here you will get clarity how many what type of the question they are asking and we having the top level of the company like oracle nest technology it it in for tech deloitte scl entity data so i have collected this uh, top level of the interview questions for you know if you are planning to attend the interview just go through this video and you can take your interview yourself and you can find you know how is your level and where you have to do the more practice and all this is the one things you have to take care and second playlist i have shown you and just you can follow my uh, this youtube channel and please share and subscribe my channel and press bell icon so when i will upload any video you will get notification do not forget to subscribe my channel and definitely this will helpful for you guys so again thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye bye